The first heist was released back in March for March uh, 2015, and since then, GTA Online has been changed has been changing for for very good thanks to the the heist updates. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over top ranking the five five heists from worst to best. The rules are gonna be uh, judging based off uh, gameplay, the story, money making the characters, as well as the content itself. Now I know a lot of YouTubers tend to like to rank the heist based on the money, however I don't really like that because some of the heists that are money making, like mostly, like for example Carebrico, that was all about money, but in this video I'm going to talk about every good thing about the content, everything about the content, such as maybe the vehicles they release, what the f massive flaws, as well as uh, how how many people that played this heist over and over again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's um, gonna be a long video, so stick around and put it on the comments on down below. What do you think is the best heist? And explain why the heist is very important. Hope you. So, anyways. We'll get started right now. Coming on uh, the lowest uh, rank in the spot will be the Doomsday Heist. Now, what made it was released back in December 12, 2017, and it was one of the largest, uh, largest uh, content they released. Now, the reason I put this on them on the lowest is uh, you had is due to the fact that the difficulty is really d insane, like. In the story base, it's really good. From Act One, you start um, introducing to Lester introduced you to Avon, as well as Clifford is a sidekick. Now you had to do the three setups, as well as the before you do the setups, you had to do the preps. Then final, you need to go to an IAA building and breach the and breach the the whole entire area. Until you get to the war room, and you just have to blow up different multiple airwebers uh, until they s surrender, and that's really it. When it comes to Act Two, you get five, you get about four, four setups, and four to five setups, and it's pretty much um, like it. That's when the difficulty increased. That's Especially with Avenger, you do need to have a very good weapons to start with. But the remaining setup was not too bad. The act, the final is also not too bad of a difficulty. However, in later story, you found you you tried to uh, kill kill one of a enemy that's supposed to be a Russian uh, Bogan. Bogan, I hope I'm right. And turned out that Avon that you work with. He's trying to take over Los to take over Los Santos by destroying it. And in Act 3, you pretty much had to destroy Clifford as well as the goons. And the the, the difficulty increases dramatically to the point that you do need to be a very experienced to to complete the heist and make sure you have full gear. But even with full gear, you will still die easily. If you're not very careful, now what? And the payout, honestly, it's not the best. Even I did got increased back in, uh, I think last year, where they increased the payout. But even then, it's still very, very difficult. And yeah, and not most of the time, people don't want to do this Doomsday Heist due to how difficult it is. When it comes to the content itself, they had so many vehicles, such as the Deluxe, Chernobog, the Barrage. The volatile. Uh, what else there was? Uh, I'm trying to think another one. A Stromberg, the Avenger. They also had a lot of Mark II weapons, and they also had one of the worst, um, worst um, equip, the worst um, thing in GTA Online, the Orbital Canyon. Pretty much, I don't know why Rockstar was thinking adding a a fuck something a fucking pay to kill weapon literally just to pay to kill people but anyways 
overall, the, I was, the only thing I like about the Doomsday is it kind of add a little more challenge for higher ranked players. So that way, it kind of gives you an idea like, okay, there is a, like a massive difficulty heist. And I guess the only thing I will say about the good thing about the heist is the, the story. It's pretty good. However, the only thing I don't like about the heist is the difficulty is way insane to the point that anyone who's a beginner is not is not recommend to play with this heist and I honestly think the the content like there were so many weaponized vehicles and broken weaponized vehicles like the Deluxe was also pretty broken before the press module was added along with Avenger which had a infinite a very big range of a canyon as well as the overcan which ruined a lot of uh, free mode or PvP for dramatically forever. So overall, I guess the the good thing about I guess the other thing I like about this is the story, as well as like just the idea of bringing um, some characters as well as introducing to a new enemy to online. Because usually, GTA Online definitely didn't really have like a story. However, with the Doomsday Heist, it definitely add a lot more. A storytelling so giving you more I giving you more of a like an idea like who's the main antagonist for a villain so overall I'll put doomsday at number five and coming on number four I will definitely be putting the the GTA online original heist it was released by Mac in March 2015 and this heist w was the without this heist there will be no heist in GTA Online at all. So what this heist introduced us is a five different heists. To f to before you start a heist, you need to own a facility. You need to own a apartment, pretty much a high-end apartment, which could cost you the cheapest you can get is two hundred thousand. So and you only need to. And to play the heist, you need to be level rank 12. And what made the heist um, so like original was that you got the you had to you pretty much had to rob a bank along with um, you had to steal so many different things such as um, the the bank from the Fleeka, the prisoner, the the data from the Humane Labs, the drugs from uh, Trevor for Trevor, as well as the money in the Pacific Standard Bank. Now, honestly, for content, it is one of the also one of the largest, kind of like the Doomsday. They also add a lot of uh, new weaponized vehicles, and they change GTA a lot, such as the Hydra, pretty much the first time having a jet to call in Pegasus. As well as uh, Savage, which is the only helicopter till this day with explosive bullets. The first ever armored vehicle, Surgeon, as well as the Surgeon pickup. And the first ever bulletproof vehicle, Kruma, Kruma as well as a bike with a nitro, nitro boost. Now, the first time you start the heist, you start with Fleeker, which require only two players to play with. And it's just like a little beginning start off, like to get the familiar with uh, what the heist is about. The second heist you start is also a prison, more of a prison heist. You need to steal a prison bus, steal a Valen plane, you need to change up the the files in the police station as well as uh, another team that to steal a a casco um, from the docks then you need to assassinate do some assassination missions and then that's when you start the the final heist and a lot of people a lot of people tend to talk about the prison about the main reason a lot of youtubers when it comes to the original heist they tend to talk about the prison break a lot due to how difficult it is because you need four separate people to do one specific task. One do the vellum, one do the one do the demolition, which is the buzzard. One is a prisoner, and one is a a, a prison. One is a prison guard. And if you know what you're doing, it can be pretty easy. However, a lot of people tend to struggle due to people are low levels so um getting involved with the heist and scoring up with the heist in general. Then the third one, which is the Humane Labs. The Humane Lab is actually pretty, it's honestly not too bad. You need to get the, the data drive from uh, IA agent. Then you need to steal surgeons. Then third time, first up, you need to steal EMP, as, along with the Hydra. The fourth one, you need to steal Valkyrie. 
and then the fifth one which is the EMP which is literally you have to deliver an EMP which is a stealth mission completely. I remember it used to be very difficult however I, do, I remember doing this um try to do this all by myself and honestly it's not too bad you just need to be very quick otherwise you will get spotted then the humane life final which was pretty much um breaching to the humane lab while the other team also the valkyrie team has to take down any heli incoming helicopters then once that's done you just then the fourth heist which is the series fun day which is literally working with trevor and all you had to do is stealing stealing uh, drugs from different area one from the yacht one from the trash one from the bikies one from the one is the oil tank and then literally just you pretty much had to deliver export to while the while the final one you just had to defend Trevor from uh, multiple ga multiple gang members and also last one I forgot to mention there's one you had to steal from the sawmill and pretty much you had to steal so many things and deliver and just deliver then the final heist which is the grand finale so pretty much you need to find a box fill the postal delivery vans then you need to rescue Avi Schwartzman then you need to go and steal the the hacking vans in the third setup then the fourth one you need to go to convoy and steal thermal charge from the truck then the fifth one you need to steal a a bikes the electro bikes then on the last final heist you actually rob a bank and pretty much all you had to do is pretty much two are crowd control one is a demolition and one is a hacker man and you pretty much just rob the pacific standard bank grab the money and you're gonna have a massive battle with the police and pretty much fight through all the way till you get to the bikes the good thing is that you don't really need the bikes you can go f steal a random civilized car however it's a very it can be a little bit difficult if you need to find a like a faster car or a four-door car the only massive draw i will say about this heist all of it is that it requires four players and similar to the doomsday heist it can be very very difficult if you don't know what you're doing but the difficulty of the enemies is not too bad compared to doomsday where they have a lot more armor whereas the original has a lot more like has no armor however the good thing is that you can unlike with the doomsday heist you can actually wear a a new a new elf a new uh vest it's utility vest which can actually protect you from uh, enemies which give you more double health and don't pretty much slow you down but it does give you more health and you can also use a Kuruma armored on the in the heist so that way you can do that prevents you from getting shot a lot but even then it's still really difficult and the payout is really really bad unless you do the criminal mastermind challenge however that that requires like a friend that knows what they're doing and the criminal mastermind challenge requires to play with the same team play in order as well as doing it without death which can be extremely difficult if you're a new player but when it comes to like the content it's actually pretty decent i would say the only downside is that you do need to, to unlock to get the the rest of the content you need to play the heist for example for for example for the hydra you need to complete an emp setup for the humane lab and that was before they added into the game with the trade price before then before the trade price thing that you had to to unlock the vehicle you need to play you need to actually play the heist to unlock it which can be very frustrating if you don't know if you don't if you're unsure how these players gain these new vehicles and Especially with the Hydra, the Hydra changed P like changed PvP a lot. Like I remember, I think it was 2013, 2014. The tank was pretty overpowered. Was pretty much the powerful vehicle in the game. However, if you had the Hydra, you just overkill the the tank pretty easily, and it became more of essential than like a, a vehicle you could fly. The Savage was before I got buff. It was very weak. Yes, I have a powerful tank, but it was a very, very weak vehicle. The Valkyrie, pretty much just a, a shit, just a pretty much a, more of a co-op vehicle, and pretty much just like, a, and the whole content is just about the heist. Now, the only thing I will put a point out is even um, not many people like the heist. Some people play it due to nostalgia, which I do the same thing. Consider that it's a lot more. F I would say it's more of a. It's not really about money making. It's more of a, a gameplay kind of heist. Where you just play for gameplay. 
and have fun. It doesn't have to be something you take in, take serious. You just plug in, play the play the heist, and have a lot more fun with it. Which much which the the heist that I'm gonna be showing are are also money making as well as good content. So overall, I put the the put the the original heist in number four. Coming at number rank number three, uh, we're going over a little bit shorter. Is the the clicking bell raid? This was released not long ago, back in March. Well, just recently in March this year, and this is also one of the uh, this is the fifth heist, and it's also pretty simple. Now, what I like about this heist is the it's a beginner friendly, and you don't need to acquire any apartment. You just need to go see Vincent and from in the, near the police station and you pretty much had to do about four about four like about five five uh, preps and then you just start the heist so to go through the heist you need to start the the slush fund which we had to steal the kind of a cash and then deliver a drop off the second one you need to steal a hacking device from the terabyte as well as a laptop you need to also steal a train which is the first ever time they made they allow you to drive a train in GTA Online. Pretty cool. Next is the where the mission, where the prep gets a little bit boring, which is stealing the weapons. However, the difference between um, other highs is that you get to choose your loadout, which is very different compared to other highs. You get to choose one, which is poor, professional, or military, and each will give you different loadouts. And same goes to getaway vehicle. They will give you different well, different a uh, different vehicle. They'll give you a poor vehicle, a professional vehicle, which is a lot more sport car, a sporty car, and military is more of an off-road vehicle. And then once you complete, once you get the the vehicles and the guns, you will have the last uh, pr last one, which is um, hacking the the vans to reveal the warehouse, destroying the destroying the 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 box filled, uh, vans or the trucks I should say then you need to also grab you also have to grab a drill to steal a, a key card and pretty much the whole heart and then you, you can also do it stealthily or aggressive if you want it won't punish you it won't change the payouts which is really good and once you get to the once you complete all the setups you get the final you get to the final and you pretty much just had to breach into the the clocking bell uh, building factory in the Polito Bay and you pretty much had to steal a multiple things such as the, the coke then the one from the one room and the other one is uh, just going for the crates and once you get all the crates you need to once you go through that you need to go for a computer and hack into a multi find a, a device and pretty much have to scan for codes in different computers and once you get the code you need to go to the, the locker room into the safe and pretty much um, grab the the files and once you grab the files you need to steal you need to get out of uh, the factory and pretty much just you pretty much had to get to the getaway where the getaway vehicle is and just lose the cops and deliver to the and deliver to the drop off point so overall it's a pretty standard heist there's only two, like about three new vehicles the, the Terranus, um, the police um, hellfire as well as the, the clicker bell truck so overall it's a pretty small update it's not it's pretty good if you're a beginner if you want a heist that you can actually play i guess the only downside i will say about this heist is it's pretty basic i mean it's pretty good i will say i guess it's really good if you're not if you do if you're sick and tired of like overly advanced heists where you have to go to so many locations and do so many preps and setups and you just want to relax this is kind of like um more of a laid back um heist where you can just sit back no need to to try and the pay is pretty decent for that kind of heist like 500k is pretty is pretty good it's kind of like uh like just half a million 500k is like even though it might not be like one million dollars it's still pretty decent 
I guess the I guess if you're really uh I guess if you're really like a hardcore veteran player, this could be considered the worst uh, heist for some people. Because if, if you're very used to grinding Chaos Breaker or any other heist, but for me, it's decent. I, I can see why a lot of new players or anyone just really has like of um sick of it um like high like high updates. And also, I forgot to mention, it also feels really how I say kind of like the original heist. It also feels very original GTA. Like a lot of heists feel feel more cinematic movie whereas this heist just feel more Grand Theft Auto where you actually had to steal something and actually deliver to the drop off line which is something what GTA 5 is lacking I will be honest with you which is something in a hope GTA 6 um, when they release um, the online version of GTA 6 they actually add some kind of original heist so that way it felt more rich so that way players can enjoy and have a little more, more nostalgia moment so overall I'll put the clock and bell raid in number for in number three and coming in number two I would definitely put the I'm gonna put the diamond casino heist now the first time that diamond casino heist before you do the diamond casino heist you need to own an arcade I like about this diamond casino heist is that they implemented a new system called the cuts for the crew now you don't really s now the purpose of this crew is that they give you the loadout as well as the getaway vehicle and the hacking device which is really essential if you want to if you wanted to grab the most loot now before the diamond casino heist they did have uh, the original diamond casino resort dlc and that dlc a lot of people youtubers i'm not sure if youtubers um mentioned this but the the diamond casino resort did like a little teaser of a diamond casino heist and we knew that there will be like a heist for diamond casino and there's three approaches but before you do go for approach you need to go to a casino and try to find a, a loot there are four loot one is cash painting gold and paint diamond which is a limited amount limited time item and once you get that you get three approaches aggressive bitcoin and silent sneaky silent sneaky is just pretty much stealth all the way through Bitcoin is pretty much a um, disguise where you had to wear there's a multiple disguise such as um, the such as the bugster the maintenance group sex as well as the young ancestors outfits and when it comes to aggressive approach you pretty much just had to gun blaze all the way through the casino now when it comes to the pa the content they didn't really add any other thick like weaponized vehicles they did add a, a new RC tank but that was more of a drifty vehicle so they just add more of a uh, sports vehicles an off-road more of like a getaway vehicle kind of style now when it comes to the the diet like just the the heist itself it's really good like the story like really nice and I remember and pretty much the before the pretty much about this heist is that it's pretty much a Lester's retirement however someone uh, interrupt um, the new characters interrupt the Lester and say they want the revenge on the um, revenge or for about the the heist and it wasn't just revenge for these new characters it was also revenge for Vincent because he got fired during the diamond casino result update and he so pretty much it was more of a it wasn't just about heist and making money it was more of a revenge kind of uh like a payback the only massive um drawback i will say is that there are so many preps that it can take like two hours if you're not if you're going at normal speed however not only that but also there are so many times that you get so much one to level that you can't most of them perhaps you can't even use um you can't even remove one to level with bribe authority or call us to remove one level you had to lose it manually which could be very annoying if you're not really if you really get sick of um the cops in gta which i think a lot of people do a lot of players get sick of uh, the cops in gta so it, it could be over although you can pay the the setups which is really good however it can cost a lot of money to to buy the the setups and i guess the only draw, massive draw is that is it's kind of like the doomsday heist and the original where you need also a good players to play with even though they allow you to have one only just two players to play with the massive drawback is that it can be like if you get the wrong crew like the wrong players to play with 
they will they can screw up with the heights a lot which can be overwhelming and one thing uh like for example if you sometimes if you join up a, a random doomsday not doomsday the diamond casino heights sometimes you can get a you can get a bug star set up you can get the bug star heights and most of the time they do they don't tend to do all the, the preps or the optional setups to, so you can do the heist which is pretty good if you wanted to start more difficulty heist however if you want to make your heist a lot more easier you need to complete these um, preps and pretty much the whole story is that once they you complete the heist Lester finally pretty much found his match for some match find this match and you once you complete three of those um approach you can replay the heist and just choose the the vault how you which vault you want the payout is also really really good um, it's the first time that rockstar actually improved their payout for the heist which is so good because rock because a, a lot of the uh, massive complaints about um gta online is the vehicles increasing their payout and getting more expensive so of course rockstar adds uh change the the increase for the payout of the diamond casino heist so and when and the only vehicles i will say that are pretty interesting are the rg tank the zahaba which is like a big bigger uh, vehicle large uh, off-road vehicle and just some um, tuna vehicles it could be and just the uh, nothing really much i can say about the diamond casino heist it's just a uh, a ridge a heist that actually kind of does feel like a heist kind of like the what the original did right is to f make the heist feel like a heist like you don't want just a like something ridiculous like you had to try to save a world you had to actually steal something just to because you are actual criminals so overall i'll put the diamond casino heist in number two and come here number one honestly i think this one is very expected and that is the ko breaker heist now I know a lot of people get really sick of um, seeing KO Breaker Heist um, being number one. But the reason I put KO Breaker number one, a lot of YouTubers put it number one because of the payouts and the fact he could do it solo, which is true, that's what makes it really good. However, when it comes to context on its own, it is the first time that Rockstar actually expand a area. Now yes, it's not in Freema, which can suck, which actually does kind of suck that you have to you need to actually play the heist to you know explore the the area however it doesn't give away the fact that rockstar actually pushed their boundaries with their with the gta online servers even on back on the xbox one playstation 4 and pc they actually tried to expand the and an extra content which is the an island and what made this heist so good is the the story is pretty much um, meeting up with a, a very well-known cartel named El Rubio but before you meet El Rubio you need to go to a music locker room which is a new content they added in the diamond casino and you meet a madrasa's uh, son named Miguel and Miguel will give you a, a guy that will give you the heist uh, setup and you pretty much had to steal a Madrazo's files that's locked in a, a vault in the in the Kaobriga Island. And pretty much, um, you need to own a Kasaka, which is one of the uh, one of the most um, weaponized um, vehicle. One of the it's one of those uh, vehicles that all our previous players were quested for a long time, and they finally actually add a a submarine in the game. So it's the Doomsday Heist. And once they, and you get to introduce uh, one of the most loved character, Pavel. Pavel was a uh, pretty much a captain for you, and he's pretty much well known for just being in the submarine. Yeah, he even has some reference in the some quotes that might be a little bit Easter egg in there. And pretty much you need to do about a small amount of a prep, which is really good if you're sick of, of like kind of like the Diamond Casino Heights where you had to do so many preps. Which a lot of players can find it very annoying. And with the preps, all you have to do is, um, well, before you do the preps, you need to scope out the area. And you can scope out secondary loot as well as extra loot. And you can even find some secrets in the Kaobrika Island. So it wasn't just a island; it's actually a a secret island, like that actually has a that has a lot more secrets in it, like a shark or a dead whale or 
an IAA helicopter in Ireland or at Bones to let you know that you're not the only one that went into care of Brico as well as a panther cage and you pretty much had to and once you scope out the island you need to get through preps which allow you to which you had to first um, steal weapons unmarked weapons then you need to go through the you need to steal a approachable vehicles which you can actually choose um, your own approachable vehicles whatever you like like you could go from Kazaka you could go for the the long fan you could go for the the Akonos which is the stealth plane the patrol boat the vellum plane and the the now are now NATO stealth helicopter and what made and it's pretty cool that you had to you get to ch customize the your approach and play how you want to how you want to play the heist as well as disguise and play with disguise as well and the payout obviously the payout was so was too good that people keep playing that the game was too easy with Care Breaker and that's when Rockstar nerfed it back in a, with the criminal enterprise center by adding a cooldown then they in then later in the update they they reduced the they decreased the payouts in the care breaker and even then it's still really good so a lot of youtubers tend to talk about the the payout as well as the, the money as well as the the fact that you can do a solo but unfortunately of course even that i still love the the, the island itself it adds like still a fresh content out of it Probably why a lot of people tend to do Care Breaker. It's not because of the payout the solo. It's also the, the the island on its own. Once you escape the Care Breaker up to stealing the Madrasa's files, you reveal that it was a blackmail from the Trevor Phillips, and you pretty much um, now you can also once you complete that, you can replay the heist over and over how you like. And there is also loot. And once you steal the Madrasa after you complete the heist for the first time, you get about you get about five different loots you get you get the tequila you get the ruby necklace the beaver bonds and the, the pink diamond and the similar to the diamond casino you also have a limited time uh primary target the the panther the panther statue which is only limited time the secondary loot is pretty much um cash weed as well as coke which isn't a, which obviously the coke is the best um, secondary loot giving you most pay and also a painting which as well as painting and gold which actually only the only way you can access it is a if you have a sec if you bring a another player along with you which you need to get a two key card and pretty much go to the combat unless you do a, a glitch which which allow you to breach into the the building without that needing two players but overall that's and when it comes to the vehicles i think they had also had uh, a lot of vehicles they didn't really add good vehicles the only two vehicles that are really good is the torador which has a boost and it's a submarine car and also has infinite missiles and uh, and it's really good at countering a, a presser mark 2 and other air vehicles and the submarine or the kasaka actually comes with a guided missiles and a, and a lock on missile which the guided missile actually has ability to control so you can control where the missile wants to go and the rest of the vehicle honestly it's not really good the Arcanos is a stealth plane but it's still really it's not really too armored the Annihilator stealth is pretty much a, a worse version of the the cooler stealth helicopter and when it comes to the and the rest is just um, the vehicles from the Care Breaker Island such as the Winky the, the, the truck the Patriot as well as the the squad ATV vehicle. So overall, that's Care Breaker on its own. It's just a uh, the only downside I would say about the Care Breaker is that now that there's a lot now you had to be aware of the enemies spying the body, and it can be very annoying. And you had to do it very stealthily if you want to get it successfully. Otherwise, you won't get the lead challenge. And if you get caught, you will you will make the heist a lot more difficult. So that's the only thing I will say about. The Breaker is that you do need to complete a stealth if you want to do it as successfully and even with the nerf it's still pretty good just the shame that you had to you had to do a stealth to make a proper pay and the island is only access to if you want to just for a party or just to do the heist so overall i hope you enjoyed this video it's a very um difficult to make a decision with um which heist will be ranked at five to one 
so I hope you so I hope this uh, helps out put a comment uh, which heist is your favorite explain why this heist why your heist you choose is the best and don't just choose it just because of the money choose it because of the content as well as the the story based of it and I hope you and most importantly hope you have a really good day